bendecido con la presentación de una de estas reveladoras conferencias tituladas El poder del vegetarianismo está por todo el planeta, parte 1 de 5, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos, dada en inglés el 10 y 11 de julio de 2013 en Francia. New arrival. New people? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hello. A lot of people. The Hungarian attendant. She came? Yeah. You will be attendant, but you cannot. You stay home. Okay? Thank you anyway. Come, go, come, go. I thank you. Thank you. For the opportunity. Ah, it's all right. Stay home, have a good husband. Okay, Master, thank you. Okay. Because you are young, just engage if you come here like that. It's not nice. For both of you. Yeah. Newcomer, right hand? Right hand? Oh, man, where do we put you all up? Where do we put you? Oh. My God. You okay? Yes. With the toilet? Bathroom? Yeah? Eating soup now, go often to the bathroom, right? <laughs> Not really, no. If you don't eat soup, then you drink a lot of water anyway, you know, same. Anyway, how, how is the asceticism going? Huh? Do they have bread? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> they save a little uh, crust for you? Oh, poor man. Really? I have few. Four pieces? Four, five. Five pieces? <laughs> oh, you have to break into small one and share it with the pigeon, or did you take it from the pigeon? pigeons? <laughs> oh, poor man. Choco, you know my kitchen, right? I have some bread on the table. Could you bring it here, please? A big French baguette. I didn't touch yet. Bring it here. <laughs> For him. <laughs> for emergency uh, storage, yeah. <laughs> so they gave the pigeon more bread than they gave you? Oh, wicked people, wicked, wicked. <laughs> Very sorry about that. All right, newcomer, huh? Uh, Vietnamese, also new? Yeah. I have to see how many languages I speak. <laughs> Here come Italian. <laughs> if you don't... <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get it now, you get it later. Russian, I will give it you inside. <laughs> Hungarian, you happy with that? <laughs> My God, so many languages. <laughs> now, Mongolia as well. <laughs> <laughs> Understand everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you understand already. No need. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Brand new. Brand new, still soft. Mostly, mostly bought it for my dogs, you know, he, he likes it. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't mean to offend you. <laughs> because, uh, Benny, he loves French baguette. Yes. No, 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 don't worry. We have, I always have a little bit extra in the fridge. Uh, cold and hot in case. You, you take it. He's sleeping already, okay? Mm. It, we, we have some other left over, okay? You enjoy and you keep it in your pocket. <laughs> everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah, everywhere you go and then just... <laughs> you know, emergency, yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What I mean is, don't let it out of sight, you know, because, you know, we have all kind of admirers here. <laughs> they don't always only love me, they love uh, food, a baguette. <laughs> all right, keep it, okay? You're welcome. If they don't give you again, you come knock on my door. I always have some bread in, in, on my table, really. Yeah. Well, I understand him. You know, like me, I love rice because I'm Asian, huh? Uh, the, the European people, they love bread because it's, it's, it's them, yeah? So if he misses a bread, it's normal. Yesterday I told him to put more for you, but they didn't hear you. You, you know I, I have spoken, right? Yes, yes. The master has spoken. 
<laughs> to herself. <laughs> okay, so you keep it, huh? Precious, huh? Mm. And if somebody else uh, also iron on, you make them back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just because one time you drove my car, so I treat you special. No jealousy. No, nobody have driven my car, right? No, no, no. So, uh, why do I keep looking here uh, for a newcomer? Yeah, we don't have to speak Vietnamese today. We have Austria and Germany, <laughs> Ireland, UK, Hungary, USA, Canada, New Zealand, China, Formosa, Korea, Mongolia. Ah, today, new coming again. Welcome, eh? <laughs> new arrival. Welcome. <laughs> uh, Formosa, right hand. Oh, yeah. Next of kin. <laughs> Next to the skin. Uh, Formosa, okay. Uh, Mongolia? Ah, yeah. Yesterday we were talking about your country. Mm. They want to invade your house. <laughs> they want to take over the desert. Yeah. Yeah, over there it would be easy to build houses. Huh? All we do is just take a lot of bags with us, empty bags, which is light and easy, and put sand in there when we get there, and pile the sands back together, and there you are, you have an igloo, sand igloo, very simple and quick, yeah? Otherwise, uh, why bother about the back? I think we just dig, dig a hole and <laughs> go down there. Yeah? No? No good? You're shaking your head, why? <laughs> Mosquitoes. Okay, so um, the, the Mongolia, you watch it, okay? The Chinese are coming. Mm. <laughs> and everybody else also. <laughs> ah, yeah, Mongolia is a big land, hey? And only about how many uh, millions of people? Liang Bai Basuan. Yeah, yeah. 2.8. Yeah, I was thinking two around that. But uh, I cannot believe this is so little. Let's say four or five. So that, <laughs> so that they will, you know, <laughs> aspire up to this uh, level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, in that case, we can fill the gap, right? All of us can go there, back the sand or dig the hole. Like the sun igloo. <laughs> now have a look, okay? Mm. And maybe I see some newcomer. Okay. Uh, so, have you uh, any question? If not, I go inside, see the new people. No, huh? Yeah, okay. So the new people... Please go into the lower meditation hall downstairs. Go, go, I'm coming. So you can see me a little closer up. Maybe after they left, we talk something behind their back, huh? <laughs> you see. <laughs> if you don't come, we have problem. If you come, we also have problem. And last time we had to rent so many houses extra because there were more people than, than we, uh, we, we could handle. Imagine, the hotel was trembling. <laughs> but then we had the other hotel outside, yeah? So people who stay too long don't have an airplane or don't want to have airplane ticket <laughs> can, can go there. <laughs> yes. And then uh, come back sometimes, have a look at us, see if any vacancy, yeah? But mostly no chance. Now it's summer, you see, a lot of people having vacation with the children, huh? so they're coming. And we still have candies? No. Oh. Okay. It's still left over, yeah? But what I'm thinking is, if I don't have candy, how do I give it to you guys? <laughs> huh? Maybe a little Ziploc bag of rice or something? Ah, a bag of rice. Little, little one, right? Little Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag of rice, yeah. Yeah, good idea. Or peanuts. <laughs> what kept long? Rice, huh? The rice keeps the best. Best, huh? Long. And then the people... The one grain. <laughs> <laughs> one... <laughs> one percent of blessing power <laughs> in, in the whole thermos. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, good. 
Wow, still a lot of people, huh? And they always have enough food? Yes or no? Yeah, last time we prepared a lot of bread today. A lot of bread? Yeah, but still gone. <laughs> and a lot of butter. But what do you expect? 400 people and only soup. <laughs> All right. So, how many bread did you prepare? Two hundred baguette? Yeah, almost two hundred. Uh huh. Okay. And some toast as well. Yes. yes. Oh gosh. Now your secrets are out. Huh? <laughs> you eat each one half of the baguette. That's a half of the submarine. Huh? <laughs> okay. And it's enough. And he doesn't feel enough because he has only a little crust left. It was yesterday, or the day before yesterday, when, when I was missing the bread. Yeah, but I asked you, and you say you have just a little bit like that. That's why I gave you the baguette. Give it back to me. <laughs> 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 you say you break into small pieces. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Pretend that I misunderstood you. <laughs> well, I'll take your food back. I take it back later <laughs> when nobody look. <laughs> Otherwise, you think I'm so miserly <laughs> because the give and take back. <laughs> okay, eat it all. <laughs> uh, listen, my dog will thank you. He's too fat anyway. My God, he loved bread. If I give him one whole love like that, he could eat it all. Benny, you know, this size. <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger. Yeah, <laughs> bigger than him, and he eats it all. When when he hasn't got his dinner or breakfast yet, then he eats it non-stop. Yeah, and go looking for leftover from Happy or Harley. My God, and then um, you know he can eat it breakfast, lunch, and dinner on top of the <laughs> the food that he eats already. Okay, guys. Uh, Mm, today I didn't intend to talk, just want to come out, have a look at you, and then we'll meditate together, okay, huh? Yeah. Mm. See you soon, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, you can turn off the light and you meditate, yeah. and I come back. Oh, everybody can see, yeah? Oh, even my chair is high, but not high enough. I tell you, even if I stand up, it makes no difference. <laughs> we make a little house for me, you know, like a, a one meter eighty-eight long and a one meter forty something uh, wide. But I don't need the length. I could uh, sleep on the width, you know, <laughs> just perfect. My toe touch the other wall and. My hair touched the other wall, yeah? <laughs> Just perfect. <laughs> yeah, next time if we make a house again, there's no need 188, just <laughs> 150 or something. Just <laughs> nice enough, yeah? All of you here are 12 years old? You, 12 years? Yes. Yeah. Really? <laughs> you look so young. <laughs> Is he really 12 years old? Yes. Oh, I wish I was that young looking. <laughs> And when you're 20, you will look like 15. <laughs> Vietnamese, Chinese? Taiwanese. Taiwanese? But he understood English, no? He told me he's 12. Do you understand what 12 means? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Papa. Ah, Ruku, <笑> 
，就证明看看。现在就不用了，现在不用证明了，要要证明是我多老的。啊、uh, ，The newcomer， 嗯、um, ，Give me the candies。Otherwise, I cannot、uh, give one by one today, huh? Too many. So give me the candy. Yeah. So here, look, here. So I not too heavy for you. We give to the front and the back. We just uh, uh, give them the basket. This is a universal language. Everybody understand. <laughs> no need translation. <laughs> yeah. There. I throw as long as I can, and the rest we just have to、uh, make them do it. Huh? Hello. Here come Russian language, <laughs> Korean language, <laughs> Indian. <laughs> Now you know why all the master are males. No need a lot of equipment. <laughs> you could even go、uh, topless or bottomless, whatever. Like the Himalaya yogi, nobody say nothing. And here I have a lot of equipment. Still worry whether or not okay. What or nonsense? Yeah. I don't understand why one part of the body is different than the other part of the body. That we have to hide one and show the other. <sighs> the the older I get, <laughs> the less I understand. Ah,、uh, no, no, don't take too much, ah,、uh, man. No more. How how many people don't have right hand? Oh, this was a big basket. No, no, we have it here. Pass on. Whoever don't have, take it. The one who don't have, please take it. Yeah. All right. So what do we do? I think if we don't give this,、uh, we have more peace. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Okay. Any question, guys? Loving story. Newlywed. If not, you can just look at me. <laughs> It's also good that、uh, nowadays everything is very、uh, open. Huh? Yeah, so that soon we don't have much problem. We, I better we just air it all out. Yeah, no need secret.、Uh, accept the initiation because people has to be sincere to come to ask for it. That's all.、Hmm? Normally,、uh, the, our method is not for the public. You know, normally the master never、uh, openly teach this method. Since ancient time, like that, just, just small group, small group. Before, even smaller. <laughs> In the old time, even smaller than now.、Hmm? Did you guys just arrive?、Yes. Uh, did you have food a little bit?、Yes. Enough.、Yes. If not, you find the kitchen or go in the office and ask for it. Okay? Because sometimes.、Um, Mm, some people are more hungry today and eat a little bit more, and other people cannot find. Like yesterday, the guy don't have the bread. <laughs> But this often happen in in other ashram. When I was in India, bread is like a, a, a how you say hot property, you know?、Mm, yeah, very difficult to find. And the guy who cook in the kitchen, he doesn't know how to make bread. He only knows how to make chapati. <laughs> chapati is easy to make because it's flat. But the big, the big bread like this, he doesn't know inside is still wet and and、uh, creamy inside. <laughs> so you just have to eat it, or sometimes don't even have that. If a newcomer, you know, and they don't always、uh, notify in advance, then the cook doesn't know how many、uh, portion to cook, and sometimes don't have enough. I often also did not have enough food when I was in the ashram, and I give I give all the money away already, so I couldn't buy anything. For myself, yeah. Other people, they're more clever. They always have money, and they go out and buy things, so they don't care whether or not、uh, 
the ashram has enough food. Heaven loves me. <laughs> Try to protect me, yeah. You heard that in the old times. Sometimes the practitioner they uh, want to do the practicing and uh, just immediately and don't want to wait and all that. And even if a hardship, they bear it. I, uh, I'm also the same. When I see some new level higher, I, I jump over there. You know, no matter how many hours drive. And then when I got there, maybe midday or maybe midnight, it doesn't matter. I just go to, right to the spot before I even f- be able to find blanket or mosquito nest the way you do. <laughs> Therefore, sometimes uh, uh, the insects, they take advantage of that. <laughs> but after a while, if you sit uh, very deeply, you don't care anymore. You just let them. <laughs> even before, not just now, when I was uh, younger, eh? Mm. I came to a temple in Taiwan to stay, and they let me stay for a while. And at night, normally everybody has a mosquito net in their room. I had no idea and had not not one, so I just sleep through. <laughs> and then in the morning, everybody say, "Oh, you're so compassionate! You're so compassionate!" <laughs> Yes, they think I'm charitable. <laughs> I think I did it on purpose. <laughs> ah, you know, yeah, ignoramus, no? <laughs> Just like the guy in uh, the, the joke that I told you or somebody else told you. There was one guy who went to Africa, newly, you know, arrived, and then, and then he saw the, the, the little river. There's no boat or no one, so he just swam across. And when he arrived at the other shore, a lot of people in the tribe just standing there looking at him and, 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 and clapping hands. And he said, well, 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 what's the big deal? They said, oh, this river, nobody dare swim across before, full of crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they thought he's a hero, no? <laughs> like, like me, the Taiwanese monks and nuns in that temple thought I'm charitable. <laughs> Very compassionate, compassionate. And they even say, I have a bodhisattva heart. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know the difference <laughs> between this heart or your heart or anybody. Yes, I was tired, you know, and they just give me a bed, so I just lay down and sleep. What else you do there? Yeah, if they give me a mosquito net, then I would know, maybe I hang it up, but they didn't do anything, they didn't tell me. And then say that I'm so compassionate. <laughs> So, I- ignorant is saintly. Huh? <laughs> okay, anything you want to tell me? We haven't seen each other for a long time. How is the things? How are things at home? How is your practice? Tell me some of it. Yeah, tell good, me. Good news to report to Master. Four years ago, I created four pages, Facebook, uh-huh. and they are alternative living, veganism. Yeah, yeah and from <coughs> crisis to peace, and the key of immediate enlightenment, the mm. simple booklet. Yeah. And I started with one fan, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and now, in four years, they grow now up to more than 50,000 fans. Fan, in fans. your Facebook? Yeah, wow. for, for those four pages. For, for, for the pages? Yeah, wow. people view, they can visit the pages, uh-huh. and if they like it, Mm. They just click like it. Wow. And then immediately the all link information goes to the the person's profile. Whomever uh-huh. visit the my pages mm-hmm. and like it. Yeah. They click like it. Yeah. Then that link, like from Crisis Peace, for example. Yeah. The link goes to the the person's profile, individual profile. Uh-huh. So their friends ah, we look at it can too. see it, can ah. do the same thing. Oh. So it grows like a f- And yeah, now fast. you have 50,000 fans. Wow. Yeah, more than that. Oh, well, more than that. Wonderful. And actually, it reached already like a million people because wow. their friends, ah, friends, yeah, and their friends, 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 and their just friends. keep going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So thank you very much, Master. No, very, thank you. Very grateful. They, they like Master's teaching. That's why they yeah. click likes. Yeah, yeah like, must yeah. come for initiation. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the world is getting better, okay? Yeah. Because of all of you effort. Because nowadays, 
Internet is the eleventh wonder of the world. <laughs> yes, so everybody can uh, inform themselves through the internet. It's a very good thing, hey? Yeah, and networking. Yes, and very good. They have a. There are like twenty languages for oh. from crisis to peace. I can't believe it. How old are you? So wise. <laughs> Sixty-two. Sixty-two, and you know all this Facebook and stuff. No, that's my daughter's teaching me. Ah, oh, I wish I had one to teach me. <laughs> I don't even know how to move the mouse. <laughs> well, I could learn it, just don't have enough time. And now I even have less time. So I let you all do it. Any of you do similar to her? I have thousands of fans. Three thousand. You have three thousand fans. Bravo. But that three thousand mean more, huh? At least nine thousand, no? Yeah. Because they have friends and family. Yeah, yeah. Very good, excellent. That's why I told you right now uh, we have a lot of vegan people in the world, or vegetarian. Yes. Yeah. Or at least very much aware of it and try to eat less and less meat now. Hmm. Mm. Uh, last time I reported to you that we have about more or less fifty percent. Uh, Consciously vegetarian and vegan, yeah, and or maybe breatharian, yes. But uh, other people, they eat less and less meat. So even if uh, we don't have hundred percent vegan population, but we have a lot, uh, like half percent, <laughs> you know, half uh, half vegan, yes, or two third vegan. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, there's more awareness now about uh, vegetarian, the cruelty of animal diet, and also the environmental damage of the meat consumption. Huh? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm very proud of Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you immensely in the name of the animals and the planet. <laughs> and you can have one of these uh, blue things. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah. Now you have time, huh? You just keep clicking all day, huh? <laughs> Your full-time job now. Oh, okay. So one more good news from Hungary. Yeah. Since last year, uh, I think around June, the government banned uh, the smoking in uh, private areas, mm -hmm. like in um, bars. No, oh. it's not allowed to to smoke indoors. Oh, good. And also within uh, five meters of every entrances, like uh, when you go to to work, then you you cannot. Uh, I mean, people cannot, uh, you know, smoke mm. within five meters. And also, uh, they cannot smoke in um, the public transportation mm. areas in the good. bus stops. Good, good. And people who who, who do that, they they get uh, fine. fine. Yeah. Oh wow. So it's very very good. Bravo. Yeah. Good government. Really, really good fresh, government. So. Yeah, very thank good. You. Thank you for the good news. <laughs> smoking bans save lives. Quitting smoking and restricting alcohol consumption, along with more exercise and higher fruit and vegetable intake, reduces the risk of strokes by more than half. United Kingdom's ban on smoking in public places reduces passive smoke effects, which are linked to loss of life for more than 11,000 people every year. In the U.S., the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration said that sales of tobacco to underage youth have reached all-time lows in all 50 states. The number of young smokers aged 18 to 29 has fallen by 30% in Victoria, Australia, thanks to smoking bans in pubs and clubs. Smoking rates in Japan have been declining since 1996. Smoking bans mean decreases in acute coronary syndrome. A study in Mississippi, USA found that heart attacks were reduced by 27% three years after indoor smoking was banned, with similar bans in 11 other worldwide locations also showing a reduction in both heart attacks and heart disease. Rome, Italy experienced an 11.2% decrease in acute coronary events in the first year after a smoking ban in public places went into effect. Israeli researchers report that for people who are able to stop smoking, the increased risk of sudden cardiac death seems to disappear immediately. The National Sanitary Institute in France announced a significant decrease in heart attack rates following the country's smoking ban, with benefits also noted for decrease in secondhand smoke inhalation effects. 
New York, USA experienced an 8% decline in hospital admissions for acute myocardial infarction after a comprehensive smoking ban which translates into healthcare savings of 56 million US dollars in one year. Smoking bans mean better health. A U.S. medical study finds that quitting smoking has nearly immediate benefits, including lowered blood pressure and reduced heart attack risk within 24 hours. Data from the National Population Health Survey shows those who smoke have higher rates of chronic conditions, such as bronchitis, asthma, and high blood pressure. Smokers and those exposed to secondhand smoke develop colon cancer about seven years earlier than non-smokers. Smoking bans mean healthier children. Research from the Michigan State University in the USA and the David Hyde Asthma and Allergy Research Center in the UK show that the smoking habits of mothers during pregnancy increase asthma risks in some children. Children regularly exposed to secondhand smoke have more than triple the risk of lung cancer, as well as higher risks of other respiratory problems later in life. Smoking bans are good for business. In his annual report, UK Chief Medical Officer Liam Donaldson said a public smoking ban would save an estimated 2.7 billion pounds. 680 million pounds saved by having a healthier and more efficient workforce. 140 million pounds saved through fewer sick days. 430 million pounds saved from productivity loss from smoking on the job. 100 million pounds saved from cleanup costs related to cigarette smoking. Plus more. For more information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash arms dash benefits dash flyer. Any other Facebook or nose book or <laughs> <laughs> head book? You spread it out, no? You don't? I, I, uh, I actually do, but uh, in smaller extent, like my friends, but I have only about uh, 100. But it's uh, always positive things, some, mm. some positive quotations uh -huh. from different saints uh -huh. or from Supreme Master Television, oh, so okay. different scales. Oh. How did you come into this uh, idea? Oh, this is free. <laughs> it's free to create pages, accounts. And um, actually, Facebook is designed for networking, friends, talking, but... I see my two daughters, they are always on the Facebook, make friends and talking a lot of, you know, a lot of things, you know. Mm. Then it came to my mind, I said, why well, I can use this for, you know, to spread master's yeah. teachings and vegan diet recipes. Yeah. Well, people love it. People love master's teachings. And, yeah, and? and the, the booklet is great. The, the key of uh, enlightenment, so. enlightenment small booklet is on is uh, the link online. There are seventy nine languages. Wow. Yeah. You can choose what language you want to read, and I put it on you know about. Good idea. Huh? Mm. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Master. It's master's it's Master's blessing. They like it. They click like it because they like Master's teaching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, good idea. <laughs> Very good idea, yeah. I'm impressed, yes. Okay, so maybe that's a good example, huh? Yeah, very good. If you have time, best, the best way to spend your time is doing like that, huh? Yeah. I'm so happy when I go in Yeah, they, you're like a teenage now, on Facebook all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Internet, chat room, <laughs> room, room, room. <laughs> Very good. It's the first time I heard that one person makes much, so much difference. Maybe because you are, are loving and positive and You're kind. You're so happy when I do that. Yeah. <laughs> and people always give a very positive feedback. I spend like uh, five, six hours every day. Oh, full time yeah. job? Yeah, full time job. I'm retired, so oh. I have time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every time when I do it, I feel so happy, so excited because they always give very positive feedback. Yeah. Before, like feedback, huh? Yeah, nice. like before three, four years ago, they make comment like a <laughs> negative comments. Mm. I like really, you. yeah. And now they make positive comment. Positive, and now it's zero negative. Zero negative. Oh, so happy. So four years long with all this negative, and you continue. Yes. Oh, such a great person. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.
You're Thank a great you. woman. <laughs> Thank you, Four Mr. years long, and she endured all this uh, negative uh, attack, and now she bears the fruit. All positive, zero negative. You because, famous because masters. <laughs> they don't know me. They know master. Don't yeah, they? but uh, or I post for I download for SMTV. Yeah, and upload to there mm -hmm. so they can view programs, um, programs, and, yeah. and you know all of masters teachings oh, okay. or interview or yeah. interviews. Any more communicators? Yeah, you know, yeah. interviews. Oh, wow, and vegan. So and smart cooking. Hmm. Because so master. <laughs> <laughs> and for doing that, your levels gone up so quick. Thank you, master. Yeah, as you saw, so shall you reap. No, if you're so loving and uh, kind to others, and try to help others in this way. You now, of course, uh, heaven rewards you. Hmm? Didn't expect that, you know. Just yeah, I know, like, I know I that. Like to do it. I know that. I know that. So, I know. Be That's so why. happy. So yeah. good. I'm confident with the master. So it's very you know, good. Mm. Very good. Thank you, huh? Thank you, Master. Man. Thank you, mm -hmm. Master. Uh, we have a loving heart in the greater Washington, D.C. area. Yeah. You live there? Yes, oh. in Virginia, okay. right next to D.C. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was voted best of Virginia. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh, one of the best three vegan vegetarian restaurants in Northern Virginia. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, it's voted best, but do you have income best or just... Oh, uh, right now, my wife and I don't even have to work there. We have people running the place. <laughs> oh, wow. And what are you doing then? Uh, we are managing, more or less. Oh, okay. Managing. And when we opened the restaurant, I said, because Master encouraged us to do it. Yes. I knew nothing about cooking, Yes. like most Vietnamese men. <laughs> Um, but we opened it, and I, I cook like 12, 13 hours a day, and now I teach the kitchen staff how to cook. Oh, wow. Um, it, uh, it was not doing well for a while, and then somebody told me, if you own a loving hut or if you work in a loving hut, you have to meditate five hours a day. Four. <laughs> and uh, we were working so hard, we hardly had time, had time to meditate, but oh. I said, that's what I have to do. Yeah. But I heard five, so I started meditating five hours a day. Oh, man. Somebody wicked. <laughs> but it's good for you, of course. And then things just uh, turn around. Things turn so quickly. And yeah. now, just like she said, at first there were some negative comments, but yeah. it seems like if somebody make a negative comment, somebody else jump in and make a positive comment yeah. and gave us five stars. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so now we are four and a half stars, which is the, the highest for yes, our area. Yes, of course. No, highest everywhere. Mostly they have just four spoon, not five spoon. <laughs> no, that means five star. Yeah. Normally four star is the best already. So now... Um, four we, and a half even. Yeah. Wow. We try to meditate four to five hours a day. And if... Uh, thank you. There's more problem. We just meditate six hours a day, and then things, <laughs> things are taken care of. Ah, oh, I told you, seek you first the kingdom of God. I keep telling, but nobody believes me. Now you do, huh? Yes. Yeah, good. Now I have a motivation <laughs> to, to meditate. <laughs> to meditate, <laughs> just to solve the problem <laughs> and, to, and to make business. <laughs> and uh, it's strange that people came to our restaurant, and they, they didn't know... I like this. They didn't know about master even. Yeah. But uh, there was a, a storm in Virginia, and yeah. our area wa had no power for just half a day. And the lady came in, she said, thanks to, because you have a vegan restaurant here. That's why other places had no power for weeks. Yeah. And our area, the power only went out for half a day. Oh. And she thanked us. And, oh, really? And then... Uh, <laughs> The same lady, um, later she came to us and she said, I cannot eat meat anymore. And now she's a vegan. full time yeah, vegan. Oh, wow. Well, thank to you. But a lot of people are like that. A lot of people came to eat and then lately they became they, they vegan. Just, uh, cannot be, yeah. They just cannot bear meat, you know, normally like that. It's become just their system just begin to change slowly and then shortly and then they just cannot bear meat. Yeah, automatic. It's good. Because you put a lot of love in it, and the God's name, and yeah? So people change, okay? 
There's a, a disciple. He came. To, uh, he used to work somewhere else, and mm. he came to work for us. He worked a lot harder. His job in the kitchen was yeah. very hard. Yeah. But after a while, he said, "Now I got uh, two potatoes from master." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he uh, uh, when it was low uh, around like uh, between three and five. Every restaurant is very slow between three and five p.m. Mm. He sat and meditated, and he saw light. From mm-hmm. above, mm-hmm. and he thought somebody turned on the light. He looked mm-hmm. up, and there was no light on the ceiling, mm-hmm. but he saw light coming down. Yeah, and then um, he met a uh, a Buddhist monk. Yes, and he met my um, kitchen. Cook. Yeah, my cook. Yes, and he told his disciples. He pointed to my cook. He said, "Don't look down on this man. This man is higher than me." Wow! And it was amazing that a, a monk would say such a thing to his disciple. Yes. But he didn't know that my cook uh, practiced the Kuan Yin method, and oh. yes, and then um, he just saw it because of yes. the light around him. Yes, yes he saw yes. it, and then um, my decide my. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never. <laughs> my cook. My. <laughs> my cook. The cook met a, uh, a Buddhist monk. He, you, you mean your disciple met? <laughs> His, um, uh, it's okay. Why not? There's a different disciple, this different kind of disciple. Yeah. His, uh, yeah he learned cooking from me. <laughs> yeah. See, see, chef disciple. <laughs> so what happened? And uh, he met this uh, a Theravada monk. But the, my cook had a had a daughter. Yes. And his daughter and his son-in-law came to came to visit this monk, mm. and they were so impressed by this monk, they became his students, disciple. his uh, yeah, disciples. Yeah, 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 okay. And then they became uh, vegetarian, 100%. Huh? The cook in his house, before he was the only one who was vegan, his yes. wife was not, his daughters were not, his uh-huh. uh, son-in-laws were not, now they all became vegan Yes. because of his practice. Uh. And also they met the monk, uh-huh. and they became vegetarian. Oh, bless him. Hmm? Blessed is the man who knows humility. He even recognizes when somebody else is greater than him. I mean, his disciple, <laughs> his cook disciple, <laughs> second-hand disciple. Yeah, first, first the cook was my disciple, and then he became his disciple, <laughs> second-hand disciple. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But the the thing about this monk is he's eighty years old, but he went out. He cleaned up the yard, he cut Everything trees, he said, and he got the money from that. Uh, and to said, earn, to yeah, to live, to, yeah. to earn a living. Yeah, and I don't take anything for free, so you neither. Okay, we keep our dignity. We take care of ourselves. Yeah, we're not homeless. We're not beggars. We can pay for ourselves. Then we pay. Okay, got it all clear. Yes. yes. Mm. Also, my money also won't go to my family. I already made my will. Everything goes to the Supreme Master International Association, whatever I have, either in my name or in somebody else's name, but my money or my earning or everything will go there and continue to, you know, to help people or to spread the teaching if I die. Huh? Yeah. And right now, also everything is yours anyway. Almost everything is yours. <laughs> Right now, uh, it's all yours, yes? And uh, I live in a little wood house <laughs> behind here. Yeah. I told you already, it's a little bit waste because it's a 1 meter 80, 88 long. And I, I can make do with the width, <laughs> 1 meter 40 something already. <laughs> Next time, we'll make it smaller. <laughs> yeah, that's the advantage of being small. You fit everywhere. <laughs> you don't need big house. Well, we have big house. They, they reserve it for me, but I, I feel I don't need the big house. That's all. Not because you don't treat me well. Okay, it's not like that. I prefer a smaller house. Easier for me to concentrate. I feel more. I say, relax in a smaller space, because I don't have to clean up too much, and then I don't have to rely on my attendant to clean for me, and then uh, I don't have to worry about anything. Yes. Of course, if I come on with you and I bought a lot of clothes there, then I'm just wearing it. <laughs> if you don't have, then I probably don't wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs>
Like it or not, I'm coming. <laughs> oh yeah, wonderful news. It's beautiful. I love to hear the things about your disciple. <laughs> My It's God! All thanks to Master's <laughs> teaching. Yeah, the monk. How he does sees he know? something from the cook. He ah. sees something. He okay. must have seen something. Yeah, the the light from the him. light. Yeah, because... that's why he liked his family so much. Oh, I see. Because all practice and vegan now. Ah, probably knows it. Okay, it's good. He even say that he's better than him. Wow, what a humility! He's a true monk. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed, and still work, you know, to earn his own living. This is true monk. It's like uh, Bai Chang, you know. One day don't work, one day don't eat. It's wonderful. My God, such a beautiful monk. Wonderful, so lovely to hear. If you see him again, tell him I have very much respect for him, and I uh, pray the Buddha's bless him <laughs> now and thereafter. Okay? Yes. Uh, I don't know if he likes candy. Uh, give him some candy. Yeah, souvenir. We go. What can you give to the monk, right? He don't need anything. Give him some candy for the monk. <laughs> if he takes it. If not, then of course you you eat it. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Same, same. It's just some um, for souvenir, huh? If he doesn't take it for any reason, then you take it. <laughs> it it won't go to waste. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just for love, yeah. Just for love and respect. Such a true monk, hard to find. Wow. Wow. Such a wonderful person. Hmm. He's in America, huh? <laughs> <laughs>